Louis CK. <laughs> What's up, Lou? Hello, Lou. <sighs> we were watching a, a hit show here. Yes, we're you learning know. from Scorch. Yeah. Oh, oh it's not even worth oh, getting please, into, trust me. me. It's a guy we used to do radio with, and he uh, decided to put on a talk show that is, uh, you know, he thinks it's reminiscent of Johnny Carson. <laughs> <and whatnot. laughs> he it's thinks he's so Johnny Carson. <laughs> utterly and completely bad. He's just interrupting and just going off on just fucking horrible tangents. His guest is a stripper. And he, uh -huh. he's scrambling for questions. Yeah. He's not prepared. He's got no sense of humor, no sense of timing. <laughs> it's the best the thing you can watch. is terrible. The, and it's, you, I can't stop Look watching. Look at how it. the window did you move? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. And it's supposed to be live at night. Live at night, and he can't even like hide the sunlight. Like do bettine and black tape, for fuck's could, sake. That's could a five-minute fix. Yes. <laughs> five fix. Just five-minute fix. Just pull it down. Sarah, could you more. please just back it up a little a and little bit. play just a little bit? Look at the table. To the size of the table. The and everything. You gotta appreciate the giant table. It's just, it's the. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. The, the reflection off of the leather, the, the giant the, the show <laughs> intrusive table. The name of the show should be Behind the Table. <laughs> <laughs> should be, look at this fucking table. It's terrible. <laughs> and then the table head goes in. Yes. It's the white, the white, the white shining on the, there's just somebody. And had then, no then the idea. sun and light coming uh, through. And then he has a band. He has a house band. And they played uh, into break for two and a half seconds. And look at that rug. That fucking it, fake. Everything version. is perfect. Perfect. And, but yeah, that it, a sidekick, the guy with the glasses? Yeah, yeah. that's Sib Hashin. He's the drummer from the band Boston. Yes. Years oh, ago. Oh, that's your sidekick? <laughs> that's his sidekick. <laughs> I know. I don't yeah, take yeah. the lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dead. He's a dead. Uh, yeah, oh. and play a little bit uh, of, so you can see the, ke part? the chemistry, the magic Jesus that stripper? happens. Yeah. I brought, yeah. I brought it back a little bit, so right. we'll recap. She's that. a stripper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, there we go. She's a stripper. All right. And, uh, All right. He's acting like he's James Lipton trying to get something done yeah. right, with this interview <sighs> with the stripper. Yeah, but James Lipton who doesn't have the patience to wait for an answer. No, of course yeah. not. Yeah, he yeah. just asks questions. He just trudges through. I love it, man. God bless you, though. Know. Oh, he's got his buddies in there. Oh, my God. And I have to give Lisa. She shaved this afternoon before she came here, so it's good. Nair you know. or something. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's, it, it, tell us more about uh, some of the weirdest experiences you've had on the stage. Oh. Oh, he's just kidding. I don't even know where to start. Um, any, oh. like, anybody ever, like, like you know, uh, uh, attack the stage and try to come get you? Anybody? Ever? What? <laughs> that's a great, that's a fun talk show question. Yeah. Have you ever almost been raped at work? <laughs> that's a funny story. You, know? yeah. uh, you ever been uh, traumatized? Can you slow things down and tell us? You got uh, any humorous anecdotes about being double penetrated by a dumpster? Do you ever have a gun put in your mouth? Yeah, while yeah, yeah, you know. Just How did you fun. get the job? Did you ever do something awful? <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? <laughs> What do you have to do about once a month to keep uh, your uh, your your uh, job? How's that feel? <laughs> but he answers the it. question that he that she's not ready for, so she thinks for half a second and he just tramples it. Right yeah. over her. No. Wait to wait to hear the interruption. She has no time okay. to he, think. He interrupts his own question. I can't get enough of this stuff. It's right, let me see. just great. What happens? Really? But it's not because of who I am. It's I think they would do it for anybody. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Uh, as you look around, was there anybody in this room that did that by I don't know, some of those look familiar. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't you know what I mean. 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 what are you doing? Get your head out of her lap. Oh, man. Hey, there's another, there's a matching end table to this. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Let's try it. That's great. Oh, that's great. That's always good if you want to fucking bring out like thing uh, balls like Captain Queen had. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah they exactly. won't fall off. It's of the the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could put fucking uh, uh, softballs on there. It's uh, a shuffle board. You know what this ball set bearings. needs? Yeah. This set needs a hibachi in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could pour a whole container of mercury out, and that would never end up on the no. floor. A magic a, table. A, a porn, a porn set designer would be like, no, we, we can't use yeah, this. Yeah, what are you <laughs> talking about? This looks no, awful. No one would believe these, this. These episodes come out every once in a while. And yeah, and Today we came just out, so we love had them. to take wow. a look at it. Love them, and we pick apart every little thing it's about. Scorch. And his name is Scorch. Scorch. Yeah. Yeah. His open is uh, Santa Monica Pier. <laughs>
But he's doing this in Manchester, New Hampshire. Manchester, yeah. Vegas. Manchester, but, Vegas. But he's he got it. stock footage <laughs> of the <laughs> Santa Monica Pier, and he puts his credits over it, like, live uh, tonight, uh, and it's Santa Monica <laughs> Pier. Like, it's so... Uh, this, <laughs> this is going on in, in New Manchester, Hampshire. New Manchester. Hampshire. Supposedly yes. on this episode, uh, he says he has more yeah. viewers than Game, uh, Game, of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fan. He talks about the millions of people that watch his show. Millions. I can't get enough. Even though of the it. YouTube video can only get 136 views before we get a hold yeah. of it. Yeah. Look how that white light is burning the video. Like it's just just sconces. It's, oh no. It's so bright. It's just. Oh. I love every bit of this yeah, uh, production. It. Yeah, the fucking Mr. Gazzo talk show host that oh. he's fucking co-host. Rocky's whole fucking boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't hook you up with Gazzo. Yeah. <laughs> he's busy uh, on the show. He's on the P PFG TV. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what have you been doing, Louie? Look. Where, you know, you got someone like Score, she's doing yeah. PFG TV. Right. She's a mover and a shaker in the industry. I'm, I'm what surprised the you guys haven't hooked up yet. Uh, you guys yeah. got to hook up and do a project together. Oh, my God. Uh, and you know who Don't you, you want to take this guy and, like, give him the Tonight Show? Like, uh, if you had the power to do that. Please. I've always wanted to do that. Uh, like, take people who. Like, like some comic. Like, there was a guy in Boston, I'm not going to say his name, it was just too mean, but he was he was a guy who did five, the same five minutes for, like, ten years. Oh, wow. And I wanted to, like, have the power to give him an HBO stand-up special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, shit. And just fill a fucking theater and, just and turn off the does. air conditioning and make him do an hour and put it on, <laughs> put it on HBO. I, and say, oh. here's your shot. And then he's like, I can't do it. And then you go, good, so quit now. <laughs> get out. It's this or get out. <laughs> it's what you always wanted or you have to quit. You can't uh, keep doing this. You know what? The, this is going to be great for Scorch because Scorch will absolutely say, well, well, let me tell you, well, Louis C.K. Oh, yeah. We're talking about show. PFG TV. Yeah, you're going to be yeah. part of the next yeah, show yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because hey, we mocked him horribly. And he goes, you know who are big fans? Yeah, Opie and Anthony. You know how yeah. I'll do it. Huh. He'll make a joke about Louie, and they'll be like, oh, Edward is saying he might be watching. He might be watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might, he might be watching. How you doing, Louie? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How does he make a living, this guy? He does not like <laughs> exactly. this. Exactly. Radio. It's, it's not this. We worked at the same radio Can station in Boston. We worked together. And we've been kind of watching him ever since. Yeah, <laughs> Many moons ago. Wow. Yeah, when yeah. He's hung in there. He's yeah. in New Hampshire oh, at yes, Rock Station. Wow. Where did you work with him? In Boston? Yeah, at AF. Yeah, yeah. yeah wow. that he got old. fired. You guys and him and uh, he Mark the... Parento. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Mark Parento. Now Parinto. everyone's gone their separate ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have more respect for what Parento did with his life. Than this <laughs> <laughs> it's not as embarrassing. <laughs> I know. I know. It holds up better on TV. <laughs> Treats his guests better. <laughs> At least they got an Xbox. At least he got ten bucks. Yeah, exactly. At least they got to play video games. Oh, good God. Louis well, got the big HBO uh, special yes. coming out. Got to make sure we yes, get the sir. word out. April thirteenth, right? That's right, sir. That's, uh, is that sat, uh, week from Saturday? Week from Saturday at ten p.m. That's exciting. Ooh, the we were talking about the fucking the posters are great, man. I saw the bus picture and I saw the one in Times Square. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's the first time I had posters ever. Really? You, really? My, sh my show they never did. They call it an out. I just found out that they call it an outdoor campaign because <laughs> I never had one. <laughs> now my show doesn't before. have posters or anything like that. So this is the first time I've done. Did you have that. any say in the poster? Was it you? Yeah, all you? yeah. They showed me a bunch of different things. Yeah, and I picked that one because it is really. I, I notice it when I'm driving. I, you can't not look at it. On the subway uh, entrances, they got those things. So when I'm yeah. driving on the road, I, I see them. And they're, they're very like, what the hell is that? It's like, why would it's someone a lot of so white. much room? Yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of white. <laughs> and then I'm tiny in the Looks thing. Like That's you, what I like about it. Yeah, you're just in the bottom. All this white behind yeah. you. It's fucking great. It's very Who cool. would present that and think you wouldn't say... You're wasting so much space. Like that's how dumb. I have no clue. Because HBO, oh, HBO has the a great design department. Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't know. No, it's it really smart. Like, I no, guess. you need a lot more shit in there. See, I would have put yeah. Louis with a bunch of redheaded guys and then had him shake, put his hands up, like, ah, what like, the heck? Ah, what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Yeah, guess I'm just heck? one of these kinds of guys. <laughs> <laughs> kinds of guys. Hey, that's yeah. a good idea. Can I steal that? <laughs> I'm gonna use that in promo my next show. That's brilliant. Yeah, but you can't not look at it all that white and just you at the bottom. And I first saw it on a bus, and I was like, that is fucking great, man. Yeah. I just hope the special is, uh, doesn't suck. No, well, come on. I'll find out on Saturday. Not I'm quite. sure it's good. You, I saw a moment of it. Well, every, yeah, but that's what everybody said about every shitty special ever. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I'm sure it's great. Oh, it's got to be good. <laughs> nah, yeah. it's it could okay. easily suck. It's nah, totally possible stop. that it sucks. Well, the yeah, managers have, or friends have never said that about a special. Like, I shot a special. Yeah, it's probably shitty. You know, <laughs> your friends never probably say stinks. That. <laughs> Jimmy just filmed his in Boston. We went up there for that. How did it go? It, it went it really was, well. Somerville Theater? Yep. You actually made me feel better because I was so panicky about the fucking lack of smoke. And I asked Louie, because that's what they do to get, like, lighting a certain way. And I'm like, dude, I can't use smoke. And he's like, well, I've never used it. It's so much Never stupid. used it once. And that actually is the only thing that made me feel better. I meant to, to write you and tell you that. The only thing that made me feel better about it was him but saying Well, that's because yeah. the, the, the people that are into the photography of those things, they fill the room with smoke yeah. so that it has more atmosphere. And yeah. it's a giant waste of money. It's stupid. And you don't huh. think the look it gives doesn't mean anything. It right? doesn't mean anything. I never did it. I've done five of these now. Never did it. Well, Nicolas Cage gave you some advice, too, about the smoke, didn't he? Oof. No. You. I, I don't know that part of our business. I, he just blew me off completely. Uh, he was on a plane sitting, sitting next right to Nicholas Nicholas Cage. Cage. Yeah. And Crying. Was, and you, you asked him if you should use a smoke machine? Yes. I was just saying yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's what that was. Louis fucking laughing at his balls all over. Jimmy's <laughs> dumb question. You I, I, know, yeah, I, would, yeah. I would have had more respect for myself if I asked Mohammed Atta that on a flight. <laughs> Oh you gotta give him the short. You gotta give him the short version of the whole oh story because it's amazing. I, know it. I already know it. Oh, yes. you do. Know. Okay, okay. Hey, I'm a big fan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, you're really great. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's nice. Okay. I'm a comic. I don't know. Yeah, no, I guess yes. so. Yeah, I, think I kind of know who you are. Yeah, listen, can I ask you a question? Well, yeah, I guess, I guess so. And then he finally has to take off the headphones, Nicholas Cage, <laughs> or, and face he you. Exactly. Now he has to take off the headphones and face you. Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm doing a stand-up special. I'm not sure what that is, but go ahead. <laughs> Should I use a smoke machine? I don't know why you're... It's not... I'm an actor. Louie was on the plane. I don't know why you would ask me No, Louie just made Nicholas Cage like me a lot more than he actually did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I wish that was the story. That was... He actually would have acknowledged me. <sighs> Wow. It was just humiliating. Why did you ask me? Why did you watch <laughs> Because I'm a, smoke I, machine. I'm a small man trying to make a connection with a movie he star. He was trying his <laughs> best to get... A, yeah. Into a conversation, yeah. and and before he said anything, and there were like three or four or maybe even five attempts at yeah. this conversation yeah. cross country, uh, and and before each attempt, <laughs> Jimmy would play out the scenario, and it would always end with Nicolas Cage going, "Yeah, here's my number. Get in touch with me." <laughs> yeah, and and it always ended with just, "Huh, huh." <laughs> it, it was it was a fucking five hour humiliation slash <laughs> validation of what I already know. <laughs> Oh, it was truly and you were just trying Amazing. to get a picture, and you didn't get the picture. No, I got an autograph, but... He finally gave him an autograph. But you shot in the... Uh, I saw a clip on HBO shows, like, what, what's coming up, and they fuck yeah. it. It looked amazing, because you shot it in the uh, in the round in the Swiss yeah. Celebrity Theater. Yeah, Phoenix. the Phoenix... The, you went in the round. Yeah, Carlin shot a special in there in 77. Yep. Oh yeah, and it's beautiful. And, this, and the room is exactly the same. It's never changed. Really? Yeah, so I got... It was about... 2,800 seats or something, yeah. which is just what I've been doing. Right. And also, I'm just sick of this same thing of, like, there's the guy with the c curtain or whatever uh -huh. fake set. <laughs> and then you kind of come around awkwardly behind him and you see the crowd in the distance. I don't like lighting the crowd. So this way, they're all around. They're just all around you. And the crowd is a backdrop. Like, everywhere you right. see, yeah. you so see a, yeah. people fuzzy in the background, just a fuzzy kind yeah. of... Well, looks like, a, like a cartoon though. when they show an audience in a cartoon. <laughs> it's just yeah, smoshy. Yeah, just fuzzy colors. But, but how did you yeah. feel on stage in the round? Isn't it? I loved it. I, I did, did it. I did Is one... it vulnerable, though, a little bit? or It's just totally different. I did it um, in Hyannis. They have the melody tent. Right. Uh, I've done the round a few times a year for the last few years. To it, I guess. And then it's totally different. It's a thing where the audience, you're always facing somebody, and you can you walk in a circle. It's more natural in life to make spirals and circles than straight <laughs> lines. Yeah. So if you just give into it that way, mm. it's really cool. I've only but, done it a couple times, and it's, it, it, it takes a little getting used to, though, because you're always like, yeah. worried, I've been facing my back too long. Did you start thinking that way or no? Well, he, yes, that does. A clock starts Wait. ticking. As soon as you stop moving, uh, you feel this heat burning behind you. It's like being, <laughs> on a, being a rotisserie chicken, and you stop the <laughs> yeah. rotisserie. But like the you stage start is burning. moving, right? Is rotating? No, no, no. Some places do that, but yeah, that's yeah. Radio, on the show, Radio that would have looked yeah. retarded. Oh, yeah. No. Radio City. But, uh, not Radio City. Uh, Fucking Westbury. Westbury does Westbury does I saw that. Bob Westbury. Saget in the round and, and the stage and Dice and yeah, the stage yeah, yeah. slowly moves. Yeah, you well, can't film that. Though, no, you obviously. can't. And the thing I learned because I did a show in Sacramento the same week that they have a round theater there. I did that just to get used to it. I, there's a few things like when you're on stage, 
in a regular stage, you want to come up to the audience, mm. to the lip of the stage. Mm. But in the round, the closer you get to the lip of the stage, you're eliminating more and more people. If you're standing on the lip of a oh, stage yeah. looking out at the audience, that's true. you're looking at maybe 20% of the audience, and 80% of them are now behind you. Wow. So the only place to be is either on the back, like standing on the lip of the stage with your back to the you know what I mean? Right. But yeah. you're actually facing more people. That would make sense. Yeah, you're on the lip of the stage. Now, if you turn around... yeah. And face the center of the spindle. <laughs> yes. Now you got the whole audience the, there, except for you know who's that's right, right behind you. That's there. There was a guy. I when I did the show in Sacramento, that that theater does. Uh, they do theater. They do uh, you know plays mm -hmm. in the round. And the guy who runs the theater said to me, the two power spots are the center of the stage, mm -hmm. and you're back to an alley to a you know to a uh, right right an entrance alley. Um, right. So I figured that, but then I then there's a whole other thing is the cameras because if you keep moving, which is your instinct, you're just you're not getting any cameras as shot mm. at looking at you for very long. But I had yeah. eight cameras all placed around like a gun turret kind of, and you just keep <laughs> yeah. moving around. Interlocking fire. fields of fire. Yeah, that's what you need. It's a triangulation of fire. <laughs> <laughs> was it easier or harder to, to edit like that? Uh, it was weirdly easier because there was always a camera that I was looking at full mm. on. And and I could cut constantly oh. without wow. noticing. Right, it's like a rotary engine, like a Maz, Mazda <laughs> yeah, rotary yeah, engines. Yeah. Very cool. The spark plugs catch the cylinder as it goes by. <laughs> so I saw yeah, Pryor constantly. in uh, when he was uh, like nineteen ninety five in Westbury, and he was it was, it was in the round. Was he, he spinning? Yeah, because he was so slow, he couldn't... Really fast. Yeah, That's what you should like do. Really... Spin it to the point where the comic is literally hanging on <laughs> yeah. and screaming. For fear of flying off yeah. into they, the audience. They put a plastic piece of uh, clear plastic, and he was like a subterfuge against the fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Did I say that right? I hope so. But, uh, centrifuge? Yeah, I meant that. Centrifuge. Yeah, centrifuge. It was like, yeah, underhanded. Yeah. yeah. Hunt I am. <laughs> so what, Nicholas Cage, did I use the right word? Huh? Huh? They, uh, huh? He, but he had cards on the floor. It Go was ahead. kind of hard to yeah. see because he couldn't, he couldn't remember. So he had all these cards yeah, just kind of spinning slowly mm. it was really sad to see in the fucking yeah. what year was that 95 96 yeah maybe that earlier that yeah. yeah that's pretty subterfuge drugs what about the old uh, tv show there louis yeah. when uh, uh come back in next year next year may, may of next year you just decided bah taking bah! you off nice yeah. everyone else does it yeah you know well i did i got i'm I, that's a hard show to do and all the jobs i do on it so i kind of was starting i felt like I, mm. I the last season was good and the next one would not be i feel like oh, i'm really? on the precipice of a bad season <laughs> really yeah wow and so i thought maybe i could take a year off and spend more time i'm not taking a whole year off yeah i'm only i'm going to spend more time making the show so oh, i okay. start work earlier but Did i had to re any... set it hit a reset button also the the shows even though the show's not seen by that many it's still a small show you uh -huh. know um it's the, the the frenzy about it and the awards and all that stuff yeah it wasn't good for the health of the show to me creatively i needed a year off from that wow um, yeah in yeah. order to keep doing the show right that takes balls did, did, did you get yeah. any flack from uh the people they sure that didn't want i mean they build, they're building like a whole thing the show started kind of a whole comedy thing for right. them, and then I had oh, lunch with the Chappelle president of the network. Yeah, yeah, he didn't know why. I'm, I'm taking him to lunch, and he's just, we're both having a great lunch, and I'm oh. like, here, I'm going about to make his face change. It's a wow. weird feeling. Oh, man. So here's what oh, I was thinking. Oh, boy. And yeah. you don't want to, le you know, leading up to it, and I'm seeing his, uh, behind his eyes going, what does this uh -oh. mean? And then, so I kind of got, so I, what I'm saying is I need to, I need to take a year off. And then I watch him take that, and he's a really, you know, courageous and great guy, John yeah. Lindgren. So he, uh, oh, okay. You mean you mean in the show, your character is going to take a year so off? So we're doing an episode we're doing an about episode taking a year off. Take a year off. I love it. I love it. No, no, it's it. Yeah. But so I, I got to do it. Yeah. You should have waited, the, like, given him a worst option first. Yeah. Like, you know what? I, I, I don't want to do the show anymore. Yeah, I kind of want to quit and just get out of the business. I'm tired of yeah. it. Like, what? All right, maybe yeah. I'll just take a year All off. Right, All right, right yeah. fine. Well, I, wanted, <laughs> also, I had no idea. You don't know with these people. It might have been that he would have said, maybe you shouldn't come back. He might have said, uh, don't, yeah, you know, who they knows? They play their hand. So it was tricky, but they were really uh, supportive about it. I want to bring it back as a musical like Cop Rock. Yeah. <laughs> and then they go, oh, no, I'll take a year off. Yeah. yeah. And I'll, I'll have some ground to make up. People won't care as much, and the network won't care as much. So I don't know. I think that will be a so. tremendous, like a triumphant, <clears throat> not triumphant, but like a, a, he coming back. Like the Sopranos took over a fucking year. Every time. Really? People take years yeah. off, and when you do it, it feels like this thing. But then once it's over, it doesn't feel like anything to yeah. anybody. Nobody cares anymore. Right. It's just television. 
So it's not like it's, I'm the police department taking a year off? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fucking TV show. <laughs> we just feel like... Uh, <laughs> it would be amazing. Just, <laughs> we just feel like we need a little... We're going to do something else for a year. So everybody, just good luck. <laughs> and uh, Try to be good to your, each other. Keep your doors locked. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Call the fire department if you really need somebody. <laughs> no, they took a year off, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then... Uh, but, but now I'm really hungry to get back. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I miss it a lot. So I didn't, hadn't felt like that. Are you writing while. though during the? the I'm trying not time? to write it. You're all. trying not to just do anything. Just not even think well, about it. As far it, as the show goes, it's, it's a, it's, I, I, it's a thing I've learned to do is to think like a farmer or something. Like just <laughs> take. Don't you don't want the to, shit out of the ground right. yet? <laughs> but you got to rotate your crops oh, and yes. keep yeah. the soil, or you'll That's have a exactly dust right. bowl. But, but a being show. a creative guy, doesn't something pop in your head? You're like, oh wow, that'd yeah, be a I, great if, episode. If I have a germ of an idea like that, I email it to myself okay. with the heading uh, show idea. Right. So I have a bunch of those, and then just leave it alone. And then I leave it alone. Gotcha. Don't don't develop it. And I've just been doing, and then I've been concentrating on the stand up. It's something I learned about sharks at an aquarium with my kids. The sharks can't um, stop, stop moving. Right. Yeah. You know why? I only kind of figured it out. They yeah. don't have those moving gills. They don't have parts moving gills. They can't, yeah, yeah, they can't they push need the water. actual water to go in their mouth and out their gills so That's they got to right. keep moving forward. How yeah, it would be like it? if you didn't have lungs that expand and you need to just walk and have. <laughs> like, just have air. If your head motion <laughs> controlled yeah. your diaphragm, you'd have to bend yeah, yeah. over and run. <laughs> to get what air a, to come what in. What a horrible design. Oh, put fucking air <laughs> yeah. in your mouth. Ha, oh, like a <laughs> scoop. Yeah. Like a hood scoop. Oh, yes. Sharks suck. So, you know, they're really dumbly they're designed. <laughs> so they even if they stop moving for a second, they, <gasps> they start choking. Yeah. Wow, so, but fuck. they need to sleep just like every neurological thing mm. needs to sleep. So yeah. they sleep their brain in sections. In quadrants, <laughs> they shit. sleep like a quarter of their brain here, like a quarter Jimmy. of their brain. There's stuff you can catch. Sometimes you'll see a shark. Uh, I mean, I've never, never seen a shark, but uh, you could happen upon a shark who's asleep. Yeah, and he doesn't. He's not looking at you. He's oh, just man. only doing motor skills, whatever it is. And then would he wakes he, up. Would he go right by you if you were sleeping like that? Would he? I don't know there? that much about it. <laughs> okay. I just want. There's only one follow-up question. He might. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get nudging. <laughs> could you put sleepy shark in the Google? I want to see so, this video of a sleepy shark. Okay, so so I figured out, I had this idea, okay, if you sleep certain sections of your brain, like you just shut down, because I do all, I'm always overworked, right. mm. so I thought if I just don't, if you have the discipline to not think about certain things, to not use certain, yeah, like yeah. don't do any logistical scheduling stuff mm. for like, you know, several hours, don't even think about it. Only think about this thing that you're doing, mm. and then you swap it out. So the show is gone from my head for like this whole wow. several months, and then when it comes back, it'll be very rested. But meanwhile, I've been doing a stand-up special. Right, right. And a stand -up. I'm working really hard, but not at the show. Don't you feel like mm. I'm always afraid if I get an idea and I don't write it immediately that I'm going to look at it the next day and hate it? Like I go back over certain ideas, and I'm like, oh, you fucking stink. Like if I don't get, write it out in that moment, I'm, I panic that I won't feel that same emotion for it. It's but some stuff is like that, I think. But I don't write properly like for stand up unless I'm on stage. I can't come up with stuff. Right. So I don't and I avoid thinking about that till I'm gonna be on stage. So That'd you don't want to see my notebook in parentheses where I say funny face. <laughs> <laughs> it would be it would be a, a struggle like if some guy coming up with a new show found Louis email and all these ideas for <laughs> my show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, this show's great. <laughs> Critically acclaimed <laughs> oh, <it> sucks. <laughs> how, yeah, it be how are the kids, man? Right? They're great. Yeah. They're great. I took them to school this morning, and they're good. We just had spring break, and we had Easter, and I had all their friends over for Easter. Right. Just, they're still at the edge with coloring the eggs and over. everything. And, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Easter bunny and all that. You like doing all that stuff? Or, yeah, I don't. You know, I don't like special occasions. No. I like daily life. Right, right. That's yeah. more important. You know what I mean? The like I don't the, the, the thing with the gifts and the thing, all that. Christmas is really something, you know, but it's stressful. Huh. Uh, but I Incredible. like the daily li life, you know. Yeah, like those... I've had girlfriends that didn't. I, you know, I don't want to. I I don't make everything about Valentine's Day and birthdays. But I get, I'm very generous, you know, and yeah, give them a lot of stuff. Just be nice all the are, time. Yeah. Are wow. the kids uh, annoyed at how famous you you're getting? Yeah, because people come up to me when they're uh, with me and they, they hate that. Mm, they do. And right? Now I'm on buses and shit, and that's weird too. They don't mind that. They think that's <clears> funny. Right. But uh, but yeah. So they roll their eyes a lot to me. Somebody <laughs> yesterday I was in the daughter in the car with my daughter, and this guy comes up to my uh, window, that's knocks scary. the window, and he's a cop. He's got he's oh. a 
weird, even more, he's not a uniform cop. Oh, he's, shit. He's got a gun on his belt. He's got, like, his jacket on his arm. So he's an undercover cop with a, with a badge and gun on his belt. Yeah. And, you know, detectives also have a dark way about them. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. And he knocks on my window, and I'm like, well, what the see, fuck? Okay. I don't know why. And I roll that one. He goes, you're fucking hysterically funny. <laughs> you're fucking hilarious. And then he looks in the back seat and goes, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they get annoyed because nobody has any respect for them when they. If I'm talking to one of my kids, people walk right, like stand right. between us, yeah, and say, uh, "Can I have a picture with you or something?" Yeah, what do you, well, how do you handle yeah. that? I just say, "No, no, no, no." Oh, Jimmy! I used to be apologetically <laughs> no, no. I, you know what? No, oh, I'm sorry. But I go no. Like, why would you ask me? No, <laughs> I'm way meaner. Fuck, I saw Louis C.K. No, no. I saw Louis C.K. today. What a fucking dick. Yeah, let him say. I that's a what lot I just, of people go home I like that. I decided that, 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 does, you that that's care. okay with me. <laughs> that's I decided that that's the that's worst case scenario. That's fucking great. God, that's Met real him fame. once. Damn. He's a dick. Really? Yeah. Why? I asked for his picture, and he didn't give it to me. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess he's a dick. So what like was, uh, no one ever asked, like, what yeah. was the situation? Yeah. Well, he was talking with his kids. Yeah, his daughter's, <laughs> daughter's <laughs> crying. And, and, and he's putting a bandit on her knee. <laughs> and I took her leg out of his hands and threw her across the yard and said, can I have a picture? <laughs> and you know what the cocksucker said? No. Said, no, a, no, you can't have a picture. He's a dick. Yeah, you never bother someone with their kids. Even I wouldn't do that. No, night. and no, you're no, a fucking like, total pest. Never. Pissed. When they're eating with their kids. Yeah, yeah. I don't fault anybody for asking this because they want a thing and they are fans. It's I mean, nice of them. Yeah. Are Not you, on any level. But I don't want to do it, so I just say no. But I've had problems with, uh, with girlfriends over the years because if we're at an appearance or something where there's a lot of people that are there for us in, we're a, relate micro, to right now. in a microcosm we're of this, an appearance we're doing, you know, yeah. we had to actually go to where the fans were. Right. <laughs> right. Right. We had to go a petri right. dish. Yes, a petri yeah. dish. Right. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, like girlfriends would get kind of like, like, I mean, they know that they're there to see you and shit, but yeah. they completely ignore them. They'll step with their back. Yeah, and like that's back what into that. them to that's get what people do. They'll push them right out in between you yep. and the, yep. it's very uh, yeah disrespectful and yep yeah. Well, in that case, you're at work. You're literally at a job. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So they should just they get, should shut just the fuck go up. Go get a drink in a corner and deal wait with till it. You're done. Yeah. Hey, bitch! This is my fucking livelihood. Well, you didn't have you're to, dealing with. You didn't have to Where, call her names. All right. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just tell her. Well, just tell her that she totally was <laughs> stupid. I think we all. I think we all need an update on the boat. Will you be boating this summer? Oh, I need well, to know. So the boat, uh, got, they got dug out of the pile. Yeah. It was heavily damaged. There's a lot of holes in the fiberglass. Um, and the running, oh. it sat on its running gear in a parking lot. You know, the running oh, gear, the, the propellers yes. are so very carefully honed. It's like yeah. a musical instrument. So it just sat on them with all its weight. It's not supposed to be like no, that. So it's going to no. take some of the warm season to fix it. I mean, I got insurance money, obviously. The boat was yeah. only a couple months old when it happened. <laughs> oh so it'll be restored to full strength, and then uh -huh. i got to sell it. Oh, oh really? Because I, I got another one. <laughs> Did you? Oh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Uh, guaranteed, <laughs> it wasn't big enough. Great. You no, I got bigger? a big one. A yeah, big of one. course. You never get a smaller two boats boat. Now. I own two boats. It's great. <laughs> Yeah. You should take it out in fucking Amity, Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> what um, what size is it's the new 42 one? feet. 42? Damn. Yeah. And you're going to pilot this That's thing. right. Yeah. That's a big fucking boat. That it's is a, a big boat. Big 42 is a big fucking boat. It's a trawler. Boat. It's easier to hit manage because it's a trawler, so it sits in the water. It's, not a dis it's a displacement boat. It's not a planer. It doesn't plane up on the water. Right. So it just it just plows through plows things. Through yeah. Does it have and, a big uh, high fly bridge on it and everything? Yeah, it's got a fly bridge. It's got a huge tank. I mean, I could take this thing down to, like, you know, probably to Maryland somewhere for, yeah. you know, one, one take a guess. I could take it all the way to the, an island somewhere. Yeah. It would just take a long time. It's slow. Jeez. Much slower. Yeah. Can you go out into the open ocean with that? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Enough? yeah, you Fuck can. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the open ocean for... Us land lovers, <laughs> we think of it as just this one big, but there's all kinds of tra you know areas, and you have to. I could go to yeah. Martha's Vineyard or something. I'll I'm going to try this summer. Okay, oh, that's, cool. that's that's that good first foray into that's like right. open water. Sure, yeah. That's right. Like cruising. That it worked isn't... out great for fucking JFK. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. You're doing, you're doing great. Uh, yeah. Taking around the fucking Hudson. Right. Is, is, it, is it just for pleasure boating, or do you fish or anything? I don't fish or anything. I just really like no. being on it, and I figured that we're I'll be with the writing of the show. The first two weeks of July, I have off, mm. so I'm gonna take like a writer, like a floating writers retreat, and just wow. live by myself on the boat and go up the river. You can take a boat up the Hudson River to like the the Great Lakes 
and yeah, all yeah. the way to Canada, and it, it's called yeah. the Great Circle. You yeah, know how jealous I, I am? That's one thing I want to do. I think Lewis and yeah, Clark really proved that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's like a lock system you can go through. It's you so get funny. It's, Champlain like, and... it's like you just discovered it. You know, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. been known since 1785. <laughs> I, will go, yeah. I will go up the Hudson River. It's something I want to do. Well, uh, it feels very apocalypse now, uh, Joseph Conrad. <laughs> oh, right. That's great. Just kind of putt-putt up the river. Because it's not a thing. It's not like a treacherous ocean journey it's just yeah. moving and then throw an anchor yeah. once in a while sleep on Show the boat out. the boat has you know full kitchen it's very oh, very I'm sure it's full awesome. of all the amenities it's got a little sleeping? motorboat on it that you can take it's uh, got a tender correct. drop it in the water and you can go on yeah home. you'll be scared sleeping on that alone in the middle of the fucking what the, what is a sea monster gonna come <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> creature from the black lagoon bandits a billion know. bandits <laughs> fucking somali pirates yeah, yeah. in the hudson there's a lot of, who knows there's a lot of places they'll just tie off and just chill out a lot of places throw an anchor and you know, our anchor because that's so great. That sounds you, great. Were you always into this nautical thing, or would you just kind of like? Yeah. You are, I yeah. also like making trouble for myself because I can't afford it. I cannot afford this boat. That no, I, I bought it outright. No, and I'm not the kind. I don't have that kind of money. That's a lot. You of really, money. if you're oh, to buy man, a boat, Lord. you have to be. You have to have tens of millions of dollars in the bank. That's yeah. who. That's who my fellow boaters are. Yeah, the you, guy yeah. I'm buying it from, that I bought that I bought it from, <clears throat> the new one is like a, you know, he's a retired CEO of several corporations. <laughs> yeah. Holy and fuck. I'm buying his boat and I'm like I am a comic and I had a good year. <laughs> and I'm in yeah. debt. I'm in debt yeah. now. Yeah. You don't Fine. buy a boat with how much money you have. No, it's because you can afford more, a yeah. boat. Yeah, yeah. You don't buy a boat when you have yeah. as much as the boat costs twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you no. buy a boat when you have so much fucking money. Yeah. Literally, your accountant is like, if you buy a boat, you can save a couple of bucks yeah. on your taxes. Yeah. Right. You should be able to buy 50 of the boats. That's exactly right. Yeah, and you still have an income. That's exactly in. right. Yeah, yeah. But fucking that's MC not... Louis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a fucking the true Hollywood story, we, Louis right. C.K. We better right. promote the uh, HBO fucking special. Yeah, yeah. yeah people. Please. Yeah, I need that money. It's uh, called Oh My God. Premieres April thirteenth on uh, HBO at ten o'clock. Yes. Holy fuck! That was a, that was something you wanted to do, right? Just you wanted to do a special, so you you did it. Like, I mean, like an HBO special was like one of those things that just for you was really important. Well, I figured I would do another one this year, one way or the other, and I thought I'd put on my website like the last one because that worked. It worked well for you. Yeah, so I figured I'll just do that again. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to do one because I knew I was going to tour this. I had this whole tour. Yeah. And then uh, HBO came around and they said, uh, will you do one with us? And they said they would make it a big event. Yeah. And I said, I don't really want to do it because I have my own way of doing it now and I own it. And kinda, yeah, why would I? Uh, and they kinda, it's better. They kind of have to match what you could do on your own. They, too. they gave me a lot of money yeah. and they gave me mm. also that I could sell it on my website wow. just like the other one. So this one's going to be on my website in September. Jesus. Mm. And it's I get this, it's the same five bucks and I'm not, you know, that's my how, own thing. How do you feel that everyone else is following your lead now and doing it your way? Um, no, I'm not as uh, aware of what other people are doing. I don't know how well they're doing at it. I don't know. I don't think it works for everybody. No. No, guys like Gaffigan, a who couple has a guys great have, fan base, have done Aziz, it. There's certain yeah. guys that can pull it off. A few guys have pulled it off. But it's it doesn't making... work for everybody. It's not the only way to, or even so, the best way to do no, it. No, but it's, it takes a lot of the. It, it makes the networks think. It's, it's a great thing, Nick, because it really makes everybody. This, that's the next step for every comic eventually, although a lot of us can't do it yet. It's still like the next logical progression, and it makes the network mm -hmm. harder for them to fucking. To dictate what you do. Well, here's the thing is that you don't even, it doesn't even have to be exclusive to, you know, like Gaffigan's and Aziz's are both on Comedy right. Central now, right, I think. Yeah. And uh, Netflix, mine is on Netflix now, the one I yeah, put on yeah. my website. And uh, I was on FX and and it was on, Net, and now it's on Netflix and I still, I'm still, still selling them. <laughs> they keep selling. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what HBO was really smart because I told them I want to put it on my website. Uh, that's all mine. And uh, uh, I don't care what you do with the rest of the video money. And they're like, all right. So mm. did they make you name the boat the HBO? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, okay, how much you need, Louie? Well, yeah. let me tell you a story. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was right because I was in a power position making the deal, so I was able to get a lot and get it, and awesome. do it exactly the way I wanted to Good do for it. for you, man. Yeah. But, but I'm, I am happy it's on HBO instead of my website also because it's on – there's still a lot of people. I don't need everybody to know who I am, but people will stumble on it mm -hmm. on HBO. My thing that's on my website, no one's gonna kind yeah, of happen. They upon know it. you, yeah. yeah. It's not, not in the rack stuff, that you flip through, right? It's right. It's just in its own thing. Yeah. So the HBO thing now, it's more 
promotion and stuff. How is the camera? Because uh, we were talking about cameras to use, and uh, mm -hmm. we didn't use the red. We used a decent one, but I, I just couldn't. It was too much more money. But you used it. What did you use? The, uh, I used an Alexa in the last, this last That's one. like the best one, right? That's what they shoot movies on, yeah. Oh, and shit. Are you happy with how it came out visually? Yeah, it's the best looking one I've done, I think. Really? Yeah. Is it that much different? Like, I don't notice a lot Dude, of the stuff. the look of your your uh, taping was great. I, I love how amazing. it came out, but I mean, it's I, I was very happy. I can't with imagine it. it could look even better than that, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, with the red is a better camera. Yeah. And, and that it depends on how you want stuff to look and also some of it is the age of the thing the Alexa hmm. uh, will age quite a bit in other words when there's a new generation of televisions oh, yeah it'll look really good it'll still the look live good, at the yeah. beak one when I actually <laughs> shot on like 4k which is like a, a huge movie mm -hmm. and then we downgraded it to like you know to HD but when there are 2K TVs, which are coming in a few right, years, you're not going to lose resolution. Man. Live at the Beacon will look actually better than this one. <laughs> because yeah. this one, the Alexa, it was smarter not to do 4K. It'll take 10 years for this special <laughs> to look shitty. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Live at the Beacon will look good for another 20 years. Wow, um, man. Yours will look really shitty in about five minutes. And, we'll <laughs> and it sounds shitty already. <laughs> I'm just I don't know, but when you see the Richard Pryor specials, they, they don't look shitty. No, because no, they're on they're film. film yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah. But you know what? Carlin's one that I did, that I saw that made me want to do it there. That yeah. one is in 77. That was shot on some kind of bait, and it's really good. Is yeah. it really? Yeah, it's Kellner directed that, right? He did all the fucking Rolling Stones yes, stuff. Yes, he did. He's, he's it's also the right. lenses, too, because the depth of field makes it look so professional yeah when you get that background that's out of focus and yeah the it makes it look way focus, better yeah it looks great yeah see i said extreme close-up all the time i don't want them to miss one <laughs> <Did> expression <you? laughs> tee -hee. yeah no, one you're wink a <laughs> little mug of yours yeah, not one uncomfortable left like eye when you say something kind of naughty but then you look like yeah, yeah. yeah like i put my chin down and the eyebrows go up like you guys yeah, know you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it, actually. Come on now. Adorable. Dot, dot, dot. You're you not going to let me get away with that, are you? Because <laughs> you know me. <laughs> uh, shit. I don't know the difference between shoot. We shot it. In, she shot it in 24P. Yeah. And I, don't, I don't know what the difference. They said it was good for what we were doing. But it's I don't, a frame rate. 24 uh, frames per second is what movies are done frame, in. Yeah. And 30 is like live television. So 30 looks like kind of glassy and live looking, and 24 looks filmy. It's kind of stuttered. Yeah, it's hard to describe that, like uh, especially the new frame right now. The what is it, 48? Eight? That's, That's what. Yeah, the Hobbit was yeah. shot in like 50 different frame rates, and it's actually bizarre to look at. Yeah, it looks, and you can describe it like uh, it looks like a soap opera. It's like it's got yeah. a soap well, opera. Well, like if you to go it. to Europe and watch some on a PAL TV, yeah, um, like an old movie, mm -hmm. you can watch like uh, like Citizen Kane on PAL, and it looks like videotape. It looks that's like so weird. you're yeah. looking at the people right in front of you. Like 80s porn when that was shot yes, on video. Yes, that's what it looks like, and it looks bad. It looks cheap. Yeah, yeah some I like it to it look like cheap. film. Yeah. You know? What did yeah. I see that was shot? It was an old movie I was watching, the same thing. It was like, how the fuck did this... Why, this looks like newer. Why is it like that? A lot of TVs come like that, the and you got to set the hertz rate on it, or, yes. or it just looks like fucking shit. Yeah. It's a great movie. The technology is going so fast that it's all becoming just piles of versions. <laughs> yeah. No one knows yeah. how to use anything anymore. <laughs> right. It's yes. a fucking nightmare. Like, when you get a new TV now, it's like... Uh, like you get okay, my my cable box also has Netflix and yeah. Vimeo and YouTube, and my TV has Netflix, has it. and Blue my Ray and player. my Apple TV has all. They're all Apple on TV, everything. My fucking uh, Xbox, everything yeah. I have has, has everything I have. Yes, yes. yeah, <laughs> it's a fucking mess. Like it's a train wreck. What are you? <laughs> Yeah, what am How I are you using watching it on? It, yeah. What am I fucking... It's hard to focus on anything, because everything has just got just... so many different options. You yeah. can't focus. Mm. I'm like fucking Netflix. I'm uh, Hulu. I'll check out some Hulu shit. Uh, Little Rascals ended up on Hulu. I'm, I was watching some of that shit. Mm. Fucking hilarious. How Roach did not give a fuck about kids. They'd fall off chairs and really? tables yeah. stacked up. This ain't CGI in the 30s. No. Kid falls down, cracks his head on the wall, and he's like... <laughs> it's in the fucking shot. It's, it's there. We're watching it. I love it. <laughs> oh, the well, good he, was old he was feeding them. They probably yeah, exactly. Yeah. During the Three depression, squares a day. Exactly. Parents are like, "Good, fucking climb up those yeah. chairs again. Take two, Hal. We don't care. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll make more." While Stymie was on set, he could drink all the water he wanted from anywhere he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was his gift. <laughs>
<laughs> Use the toilet. Yes. I don't get carried away. <laughs> yeah, what the hell do I know? Frame rate. You take the picture, you smile. Am I right or wrong, Lou? Oof. You got it right. That's all that matters in life. It sure is. After all, regular Joe. <laughs> I hate regular I Joe. Love regular Joe. Ugh, yeah, regular terrible. Joe just tells it like it is. Oh, yeah. eh, you know, you container of coffee. What matters? What really matters, regular Joe? Ah, you end. know what the hell matters? Your family, your health, your happiness. Yeah, you take all the frame rates, Mr. Fancy. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a container of coffee. I'm on the job. I'm good. <laughs> look at you with your big cameras. You give me a Polaroid. Could you just yeah, we look Polaroid. at it right there? <laughs> That's great. Oh, regular Joe. I have to get out of here. Why? I would love to hang out. I got my what uh, you? my trainer. So my trainer. Fuck him. I can. I didn't go. I had red eye last night, so I didn't fucking. I got to go. I know. I don't want to. If you want to hang out, I'll fucking listen on the way home. Yeah, we'll I'll let you know how you did. Is that why you look so good, the trainer? <sighs> I'm fucking cranked. No, he looks so good no. because of the relative comparisons in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can nice. break and we'll figure it out. Ah, oh, that sounds like hope he's leaving too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, mean, I, mean, I have to. I know. Uh, Louis C.K. Uh, the Oh My God uh, special on HBO, April thirteenth, ten o'clock. Fuck. And gigs, obviously, just go to louisck.net for all the gigs. All this shit. Was yeah. there a lot of press to do today? For right. real? I did Howard this morning. And us? And that's and it? I'm doing Letterman today, too. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We're in good company. It's my Ooh. first time being, like, a guest on Letterman. You never done paneling? No. I mean, panel after a little stand-up. Right, right. But wow, that's ago. exciting. Who are you on with? Rachel, Rachel Maddow and Flaming Lips. It's oh, kind boy. of actually a good show. Are you the uh, lead guest? You mm -hmm. should be. Okay. Wow. Yeah, uh, it's the first time doing that. Fucking watch that. Are you nervous? What? Are you nervous? I, I mean, I last time, I mean, I, I yelled fuck you at his theater in my show. I saw that. I don't know if he saw it. I don't know. <laughs> fuck you. I don't know. I said, hey, Letterman. I said, hey, Letterman. Hey, Letterman. Hey, Letterman. Hey, Letterman. Fuck you. you. And uh, mm -hmm. it was on television. Oh, he knows. Someone so, showed him. I don't know. Yeah. I should ask him first question out of the gate. Yeah. Did you see what I yelled fuck you? How do you feel about what I said about you? It's a yeah. character. It's not like your real name or anything. Totally. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, wait a minute. Wait. No, wait no, but oh, no. At see, least I, it's no. See, I know. Oh, I see. Yeah, what the hell? I'm trying to remember. Damn, I was yeah. listening to you guys were cracking me up. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, damn. Yeah. Fuck. You know, I can only listen. I have two cars, all right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> One to get to each boat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this fucking stupid fucking company that you work for. Yeah. Oh, wow. We don't, we don't you talk You didn't even like have to that. say that we work for. We knew what you meant. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, you ever listen to D Derek and Clive? Uh, it's, it's Dudley Moore and Peter oh, Cook. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. So there's this one where Peter Cook says, I, I wrote to the head of the BBC... I just and I just addressed it, cunt London. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing. So anyway, I have um, the first car. You know, when you buy a car, they, you don't decide what kind of radio you get. Mm -hmm. First of all, these the same fucking company. It's the same company. It's yeah. a merged two companies into yes. one company, right? Yes. Yeah, I know exactly. When you buy you know. a car, yeah. you don't order the radio. You get a car that was already in the world. I don't think anybody <laughs> on earth buys a car and then it gets made at the factory and sent to you, unless yeah. you're going to wait six months. Mm. So you buy a car, you give the dealer your specs, he finds an inventory car in the area. So it's arbitrary. It might be a serious mm. radio. It might be. I don't know why they're different. Why? It makes no sense that it's two different kinds of radios. Alright, so you get your car and uh, the first one I got it's got whatever. I don't even know what the fuck, which one are you guys supposed to be on? Which I know. What are we, we're XM? We're on XM, but we're also okay. on the serious best All right, package. so I'm on X. I, so I'm on the XM radio, and then I, I want to hear Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. I can't get him. So I call, and they go, it's a pr there's a premium package for the Howard Stern. You have to pay more for Howard Stern. I'm like... But that guy, like, owns half the company. <laughs> like, I don't understand why that makes any sense. You merged. And I tell the lady, that's ridiculous that I would have to pay more and that I have to make this phone call. Yeah. Not just the money, but that I have to fucking go through this to get something that's in the yes. fucking thing. So she goes, well, we'll give you a month free. <laughs> Because oh, you're upset. So I, a month goes by, and then it goes shuts off. I'm like, I'm not going to do this every month. <laughs> so then oh, I buy shit. a second car. Mm -hmm. And I get, I get the car, and it's the other one. And I have Howard Stern, and I can't listen to Opie and Anthony, which I listen to every fucking day. <laughs> so I call them up, and I go, why? And she goes, because that's extra. I'm like, wait a minute. So they're extra. I have to pay a premium to listen to Opie and Anthony. 
in one car and a premium to <laughs> listen to Howard in the How other car. How is this not a joke? And I said to her, I own two fucking radios of both services. Yeah. Which means I am paying a license fee already, a full license fee for Sirius and a full license fee for XM. You always fucking brag that you can move your subscription from. Why can't you make. Why am I going to have to pay two premium fees right. to just listen to everything everywhere? That makes no fucking sense. None. And, and she said to me, their contracts make it. It's in their contracts that. The, who ours? The, yes. No. no. She said. Oh, the lied, person lied, who God. answers the phone. Fuck her. She said lied. that. She lied. We want to be talking to more people. She said it's in your contract. We're it's dying to be across the board. We're begging to be across the board. I know. Of course, I, mean, I know to that. So many more people. I know that. Yeah. So we that's what we could double our audience. And if by they the did way, that. if I pay, so I said to her, so wait a minute, if I, so those guys are getting extra money if I, if I, oh uh, my God. so that would mean that you guys would get paid extra if people, if more people sign up for the premium, which of course isn't true. If if they're gonna lie about that. I'm going to say this. Everyone that answers the phones at the XM Sirius customer service has molested children. There. Yeah, you get to say it. You get to just say there. it. Sure. But here's oh, what, what, what we, just, with what we just said about uh, about cable and how many ways you can get everything. Yeah. Every way, every media company has to like fight to be yeah. the, to make yourself a fucking pain in the ass to use. Yeah. It's the we, dumbest the thing you fucking do. thing. We because can, we can, I don't pay either premium service, and as yeah. soon as my contracts run out on both cars, I'm not going to listen to satellite anymore. This I'm just not going to listen. This isn't eight channels on the old Zenith television no. where I have to get up to change it. They if if something's it, fucked up, I'll go to something else in a that's second. That's exactly right. Yeah. It I'll plug a, in my iPod. Right. I don't give a fuck. It should be as... Can, because, and that's exactly... You have music, to make it as easy as possible. Oh, music, Everyone knows that that runs a company. Let Jimmy say something. Yes. Music is good. Oh, right. <laughs> Words of wisdom, Lloyd. Yeah, music is uh, is on an iPad. The iPod. The one thing that fucking keeps people listening to this type of shit is live talk because you yeah. can't put that on your fucking iPod. And the yes. amount of complaints yep. we get every single it's day. It's really dumb. Our, our Twitter accounts get complaints all day long. How long ago all did they long. merge? Years. Uh, <sighs> we've been in the building four years, so at least four years yeah. ago. Yeah. And, and all those years, they couldn't. Like, how do they expect a customer? To understand this, it was a right. revenue stream that made sense for a while because they were getting extra money. But now it just doesn't make sense uh, anymore. No, and also, why are they entitled to that extra money if if I can't decide which one I use? Yeah, I can't decide. I, it's totally up to somebody else what kind of radio I get. Uh huh. Because they're both. Look, uh, look at that, Sirius XM. Yeah. Is it a serious radio? No, it's a serious XM. That's what the company is. It should be a serious XM. We well, have an XM radio. Oh, so can I just wait a minute? But it's serious My? XM. What yeah. the fuck are you doing? It's a terrible business model. It, it might make them a few extra dollars, but it enrages customers. It gets yeah. everyone and all it confused. Makes, and they don't, they're never going to see how many people they don't get because they're difficult or how many people actually allow their subscriptions to lap for that exact thing. Yeah. Uh, no, this is what I always... Like, when I was in uh, Australia, everybody told me that they watched my show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I figured they must be getting old versions of it because it doesn't air there. But they were watching the show, like, the week before because the whole country pirates there. <laughs> here, weirdos kind of pirate. There's not that many people that pirate here. Yeah. But in Australia, moms and dads pirate video because we're not letting them buy it because we're keeping it oh, from okay. them. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're, we have shows that have been on the air here for like three years, and you and we won't even give them. If they're given the option, like everybody in the world is like, take my fucking credit card and just let me have the thing, and I'll pay. But if you're going to be a pain in the ass... Fuck you! I can <laughs> steal all of it. So the whole country of Australia rips TV. Uh huh. And I learned this. So when I put my Beacon special, one of the big important things to me was that it was globally available right away. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're happy to buy it, right? So I told FX they should sell my show on my website, and they said that we can't do that because we can't let other countries see it before. Oh boy. And I'm, but the, what they're doing, all those companies and this piece of shit fucking company that we're talking on right now. <laughs> Is they're keeping money out? It's a cage. It's keeping money out. It's not. It's not keeping it in. Right. They think they're keeping money in, but they're keeping it out. Yeah. I really. Yeah. By the way, what you just said that should be a fucking infomercial for SiriusXM. <laughs> it's fucking enraging how they don't see yeah, that. Yeah. Why would they do it that way? It makes no sense. So you know how long companies are doing business the same way before you decide to put something on your site and yeah. do it differently? It's like nobody wants to do anything differently until someone does it, and then everyone goes, "Oh, that's." Imagine having doing. to buy a different TV for Fox News. I do. Fox uh, FX. No. Like, no, you got to buy a different TV. 
that gets that. The and then way, you got to pay a premium. The way radio and TV got so big was that there was nothing you had to do. Right. You didn't have to Simple. pay for it. You watch. You didn't even know you were paying. You're paying for it by watching advertising. Right. You didn't even realize that you were paying their bills. Your time. That you were right. doing them a favor by watching the shit. Yeah. Is, the feeling was that you just click it on and there's all this amazing yeah. shit. Your Coming favorite music. It's amazing. Your favorite stars. Great <laughs> stories. The movies that were just yes. out. It was amazing. It's magic. He frees, frees. <laughs> it really felt that way. Yeah. But now with the internet and with all this stuff and this shit and the subscription shit, they're like, well, you, we need you to give us this and you can only have this part and then you can only do that. It's like, just, well, I'll get free. I'm yeah. going to go find free. Thank you. And they're it's the worst. It's absolutely right. They should make it fucking easier. And their thing is, well, from a pay uh, service, you get uh, unlimited content and no commercials. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. But still don't make it difficult once you're inside that, very that area. You should be able... I don't have us on my car radio. I am not listening to someone on my car. I don't, I don't either. That's amazing. Because my car came with a serious yeah. radio. So I, 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 I didn't want to bother with the shit. And I could probably no. make a couple calls and get a VIP account. Yeah, I just, no, and that's I just didn't want answer. to. Who needs yeah. it? I just and didn't also, want to. I'm a regular person. I'm like, this is not, you know, I don't yeah. know. I would I seriously recommend everybody that can hear my voice shut off the system that is letting you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we hear this shit every fucking day from our listeners. And then the listeners that are hardcore and they understand that they need to pay for the service to keep us alive, yeah. they get so frustrated and go, look, I tried, but I'm just going to like uh, get it for free somewhere. And, but it, and it's offset by the people who were paying for the other one. Right. That's the thing that's crazy about it. Once I had two cars, I'm like, wait a minute, but I'm I am I'm paying to have both. You nailed it because yeah. I have an XM radio in my house, but there's serious channels I kind of like now, and I go, oh, that's right, I can't listen and to them in the fucking and house. Football. What right. the fuck? Mm -hmm. Right. You're so yeah. right. No, but have everything, and that's how you're a real competition just to make radio. It, just yeah. make it fucking easy as possible. That's the first rule of business. No, all companies that do the, like I had a, a um, I had a gym membership downtown at a place called the Printing House Gym. And it was fun. How'd that but, work out for you? It's a nice, quiet gym. <laughs> yeah. Like nobody ever went there. She went to anyway, David Barton's. <laughs> so one one day they said it's going to be Equinox. That we're turning into an Equinox in two months. And I said, what do I have to do if I don't? Because I was moving. Mm -hmm. They, I said, do I have to do anything? Because I don't want to be in Equinox. And they said, no, just don't, just don't sign up. You have to sign up. It's double the fees, all this stuff. But you have to sign up if you want to keep coming. You have to yeah. re rejoin. So I said, fuck it, and I left. And then a year later, I look at my credit card statement for the first time in a year, uh, and I've oh, been paying yeah. Equinox, who I never signed anything. I've never been a member of Equinox. I've been paying Equinox oh, a membership God. fee that was double my fucking other gym fee <laughs> for a year. Oh. And I call, I talk to my accountant, and he goes, they do this all the time, and it'll cost, you know, it's a thousand, they, I, the $1,200 they owed me. But go try to get it. It'll cost you more. Of and course. they know that, right? Yes. So then the, there's an Equinox near my new apartment. So I thought, you know what? I call Equinox and I go, listen, you stole the great person. I'll fucking sue you. Or give me a year free mm -hmm. at Equinox gyms. And then I'll keep going after that. And then uh -huh. you have me as a customer. You earned your $1,200. Otherwise, I'm going to take it out of your ass at the, my own cost. <laughs> so they go, uh, they say, we'll give you two months free. I'm like, that's what you get to sign up for a fucking gym anyway. Right. <laughs> so I fought them, and finally I said, I relented. They said three months free, and I said, okay, I'll do it. Uh, so I sign up, backs. and then I go to the gym that's near me, and they go, well, you can't go to this one. You can only go to the one downtown. What? So then I go, I remember saying to some young woman at the gym, I said, you need to know that I'm really controlling myself, but I want to be screaming right now. So <laughs> go get me somebody <laughs> that I can get mad at. What is, I was saying to her, I'm like, do you hear my voice shaking right now? <laughs> I've been so fucked with and I'm so mad. That seems like a psychopath, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so she's like, the okay, son, I will go get the manager. So he's, the manager comes and he goes, no, you can't go to any other equinoxes. So uh, I finally, I, somehow I get to a CEO of the company after like two months. Yeah. And I get a call from a woman saying, I'm customer relations. I get this message. You're going to be very happy oh. with what I'm going to tell oh. you. So I call her up, and she says, we'll, we'll give you six months free. And I said, I'm not doing it. And she says, well, then I'm authorized to give you back your $1,200. Oh. And I said, wait a minute. Here's your choices. <laughs> Keep the $1,200. Let me go free for a year, and then I'll be a customer for like maybe 10 years. 
or you're just going to give me back the 1200 Like, do you see how you're losing? <laughs> Does that make any sense to you? She goes, that's all I'm willing to do. Stupid. Wow. When what fucking gave me back the money? Suckers. Just dumb. That is dumb. Just dumb. Bad How do you not attack them on Twitter? I mean, it's, it's over That's on. what I, I was threatening to, but uh, I don't. I, I love don't, doing that. I feel. I feel as weird. That's scary to me. Yeah. But you know what? You're voicing what a lot of people can't voice. That because everyone, if they're fucking with a guy on your level, uh, 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 this this shit company doing this, do they fuck everybody. with everybody, and they're used to no consequences. They're used to nobody being able to talk to two million people and yeah. go, "These people suck." Mm -hmm. But man, when their phones start ringing. Then they go, oh, there's a consequence for shitting on people individually. It's a really I always, that's why, but system. that's why I get angry. Like, I could fix my XM serious problem by talking to somebody here. They, they gave me one of these things today. I'm not, uh -huh. gonna, I'm gonna, not even going to fucking use it. I got nothing to do with it. <laughs> what fucking, is it? It's a year free subscription I just ripped into pieces. <laughs> but, <laughs> because I should in an envelope, and there, you still have to do something. I shouldn't Call have this that. Number, right, right, but right. I shouldn't need that of in order course. to get good service. They should just yeah. say, as what a you human being in America, I should have to uh, better. <laughs> Service they should have yes. just said, what's your ID number, and we'll take care of everything. Yeah. Not give you an envelope with more instructions. No. Why can't you go to different equinoxes? That's going to annoy me all day. No, that's I'm not. I will have nothing to do with them anymore. That's fucking enraging. Yeah. What well, a dumb shouldn't. company. Because they probably really have stupid. something where you pay twenty dollars extra a month, then you could go to. More but I had equinoxes. already been. I had already been so. I had been fucking stolen from, which they acknowledged because they gave the money back. Right. Right. Which means they acknowledged that that was ill-gotten goods. What? Fucking pricks. But this is how. And I was oh. I was offering them a like a solution that like go ahead and you stole the money. But yeah. Why? Uh, why not? But that to me is a better way than I would ever handle it. Like just to actually be, just to have the wherewithal to go. You know what? Fuck it. I'll I will take three months. Let me just work out. Like that's the most reasonable thing I can think of. You just wanted to go to different gyms, and they these cocks. They won't bend. They won't bend. Yeah. Fuck well, you. Learn that, like you learn that. You learn that kind anyway. of shit from directing and stuff because you can't. You have you have problems you have to resolve, and sometimes people fuck you, and you have one choice: you could get all your anger out <laughs> and be stuck with the problem. <laughs> yeah. Or you calmly say to somebody, "This is totally counter to what I like." I'm making, I'm renovating this house, and this guy did something completely wrong. So I tell him, "None of this is what I wanted." And he's, I hear him get confrontational. It's what you asked for. Hey, I'm certain that's not what I asked for. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Well, I, I'm not. You know, I don't do, I don't do that. And I said. Uh, Let's just tell me how it gets fixed. Forget who pays for it. Just tell me what you would do now as a solution right. yeah. to fix it. Well, I'd have to change this and that and this and that. Okay, what else? And then he tells me the whole thing. I go, that sounds good. Let's talk later about who's going to pay for it. We don't have to talk about that now. Let's just that's what we're, let's make that let's make that happen. You and me will have a talk about what should happen. Then and then he got off the phone and he had a couple of days and he called me and said, I'll share the cost of the replacement. You know what I mean? Wow, like, look at when you. When you're an, in a confrontation with somebody, you tell them your side of it and then don't try to fix it right then. You just say, let's go off, you and me. And where the, where were you like when I was destroying shrink. every relationship I've ever been in? <laughs> amazing. But that, that's fucking why you get things done. It's, it's just yeah. a fucking great way of just handling a problem and not so getting an emotional it ninny. It's, it's, well, because yeah. if you need it to get fixed right in front of you, if you need that immediate gratification, Fame you both off. have it, and your neither is going to back down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what the hell, Lily? On a job site, that happens all the time. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. yelling and screaming, blow the whistle. I'm home. Give me my lunch pail. <laughs> <laughs> the hell do lunch I need? Pail. Once, the, once the whistle blows, we're all men again. Yeah, we're yeah. all men again. You buy me a Pabst, I'll buy you a Schlitz. That's all we need. <laughs> Schlitz. I don't drink. I quit in 87. <laughs> I can't improv liquor. <laughs> Schlitz. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, right. I got to get out Louis, of here. Louis, it was I'm great sorry. seeing you, buddy. Yeah, nice, absolutely. Fucking Louis. Louis C.K., my, uh, oh my God, premier. Here's April 13th at 10 p.m. on HBO. We well, don't could, stay this late for nobody. We could have hung away no, for 10 no. more minutes. Because my show I'm not going to do today. Oh, because, fuck. No, I, don't, I don't care. It's fine. It was, this was more fun. I'll do my, I mean, I'll do it tomorrow, Friday, or whatever. Eh, whatever address. you want to do. Eh, what the hell? You, you, know, man. You, 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 you blow the whistle, I listen. I'll do it on Friday. He's not, I'm not here on Friday. Okay, I'll do it on oh. Friday. Oh, Sam, is it that actually, okay? Sammy. It's better for me Friday anyway. And also, a uh, big thank you to the WWE for bringing Fandango yeah, Friday, over today. Eric and I will be at WrestleMania Radio Rose. So. And you guys will be like doing some phoners and stuff or well, getting some guests for us? You have the ability to patch in. I think Punk's going to be there, so maybe when Punk comes Great. on, you guys can oh, roll. I bet they won't make it happen. You don't think so? Nah. Huh? Oh, the company? <laughs> yeah.
Something will fall through. Well, we couldn't get transportation <laughs> to Jersey. Could we, to get, Jersey. could we get a copy of Louis uh, bitching about the company? I want to send it right to Scott Creasy. I'm not even joking. Yeah, absolutely. Because it, it was a uh, lot. Yeah. I mean, when we bitch, it, we sound like complete lunatics. He had logic there. I want to put that on his desk. Take care, man. Drive safe. Louis. All right, Louis. We'll see you next time. Love it. Hey, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, drive safe. I want to say uh, Caroline's April 11 through 14. I will be there with bells on. He just slipped right. Joe became Jim, just yeah, like yeah. that. Well, I'll tell you why. I say, oh, 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 no, I, I, no, no, no. I didn't know if you'd hit it without knowing. Oh, I'll be no, at no, both no. hands over the button. So I'm like, I, I, you, he might not think I'm d doing that. So I wanted to gym plug real quick. Cause to yeah, no, no, no. Uh, April 11th through 14th. And then, of course, Louis, uh, April 13th at 10 o'clock. Um, HBO. At, um, oh, my God. Yes, premieres on HBO. And it's fucking great, dude. Thank you, sir. Great posters and everything. Yeah. Thank you. See you tomorrow, I guess. Yep. Okay. All right. It's going to be okay. <laughs>